It's time for The Adventures of Damsel Doggy, starring Brian in a Viking helmet. And I did some warm up today, and it actually went well. I basically got as far as successfully robbing the black market, and didn't make too many, uh, too many mistakes along the way. And so I decided that I was sufficiently well warmed up to actually play today. I've missed a couple of days over the last few days. Mostly just because I've been doing a lot of live streaming and as a result have just kind of forgotten about Spelunky during the day until it was already too late to play the daily. Oopsies! And so we missed a few daily chances there. But we will give it a go today. I don't think there's any easy way for me to get that gem, so I will leave it behind. And see if we can do some good things in Spelunky today. There was a day somewhere in there among the days that I missed that I didn't miss doing the daily and instead I just did horribly and like died on 1-2 or something and it was not worth airing and I was not in the mood after that after that horrible performance careful after that horrible performance to play any adventure mode and so uh, that footage has been scrapped has been lost will never air as happens to a lot of footage on my channel all right there was actually a pot like in theory I'm not sure that this is worth it but, since it is the daily, and I want to go for good score, it's got a snake. Alright, had to see if it happened to be a red gem or something like that. But we have cleared 1-1, we've successfully ran up to luck. <laughs> Words! Successfully rescued Damsel Doggy, who gave me a lick. Hooray! And I see bats out the wing wang, who are going to get hit by a rock. It's too bad that rock didn't have quite enough momentum. Hit the snake down here as well, otherwise it would have been the rock trifecta. I see an opportunity to get paste from the big spider down there. But it seems like there's also a way to go over here, and it looks like it might be a snake pit that I accidentally just dropped a rock into to verify that it's a snake pit, and indeed it is. And so, I think we have to go after the snake pits. Hopefully there will still be an opportunity to get the paste. Now this is weird. This is another shallow snake pit. We had one of these the other day. Might have actually been the daily that uh, I played but didn't didn't end up airing. Where basically it felt like the the bottom of the snake pit was still pretty high up in the level, just like this. Um, but now that we have the Matic, it's too bad we don't have the Eye of Ujot yet. But I think we should try to get back out into the main portion of the level. The exit's obviously going to be on the right because the entrance is on the right. And the entrance and the exit are always vertically near one another on a snake pit level. Just part of how the game forms the level with the train generator or whatnot. And so... Hmm, let's get this crate first. And we'll think about the damsel and think about... Oh, 12 bombs. Given that I don't need the bombs and the spike shoes, I'll probably have an opportunity to get later. I think the smartest thing is just to move forward. Although, let's see if we can rescue the damsel as well. Because it is, after all, the Adventures of Damsel Doggy. But I think we're not going to rob this shop. It's always dangerous for me to rob the 1-2 shop. Um, let's see, I can climb back up here assuming I dig a good way, and so let's just try to dig a good way. Like so. That'll be good. I want to leave the pick at the end and then we'll go bring the dog. And yeah, then we'll call this a successful, a successful level. There's a little bit of gold right there as well. Whoa, I almost fell in those spikes. Let's be careful. All right, but yeah, for me lately, it seems like robbing 1-2 is the only questionable move. After that, after I get a few more power-ups, after we get out of the mines and things are a little less dangerous, then definitely robbing shops is the way to go. And having the Matic to carry forward into the next level uh, could also be extremely valuable if we find the Eye of Ujat. Thanks for the lick, damsel doggy. If we find the Eye of Ujat in the locked chest somewhere early in the next level, then we could use the Matic to great profit, um, because you can get a whole lot of money when you're using the Matic to your advantage. All right. And I just want to look down here. All right. Starting to get a feel for everything that's there. There is a bat that didn't go after me all yet. Oh, there's a Kali altar up there. It's way up high, and I still only have the four ropes. So I have a feeling that we are not going to be going up there. Damsel Doggy, I'm going to need to use the Matic to get to. But I'm totally willing to do that. 
Uh, this thing is bothering me. I'm afraid that it's gonna kill me somehow later. So I'm gonna do, oops, crap, that. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. And I just took damage from the bat. Foolishly, foolishly. Did the bat set off that arrow trap? I don't see that arrow having gone off. Hmm. I feel like I've lost all of my verticality very quickly on this level. Which is okay. Alright, this bat's gonna come after me, so let's go ahead and take care of the bat. Actually, I can get the snake to shoot the bat. Haha! -ha. That was totally intentional. Woohoo! Hey, damsel doggy! Alright, we're gonna rescue the damsel. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss the Eye of Ujot anywhere in this level. I don't think both pieces would have been hiding in the top left, and I think I looked at enough of the rest of it. Um, I don't love having to deal with the scorpion, but there is a pot over there that might have some valuable things. And I'm going to continue just to hold on to the pick and use the pick uh, moving forward for when we do finally get the Eye of Ujot. And so we will advance into 1-4. Hope that we find a lock chest. And there's another damsel. Looking both adorable and in need of rescue. And I see the lock chest. Okay, fantastic. One down. Uh, one piece of equipment to go. I'm gonna come back to the scorpion and the damsel later. Let's see if we can find the key. That'll shoot over my head. And then I can sneak up behind this guy. Inside the pot, there was a second cobra. And let's see, okay, I think I need to go after the damsel now. We're gonna go ahead and drop that off here. I can sneak up behind this guy. Get this stuff, which is hardly worth it. And then drop on this guy's head in order to kill him. Get some money. Uh, here is my chance for pace that I didn't get on the other level. Let's stick the damsel. Is he gonna get caught in the spider web? No, he's not, okay. Uh, damsel doggy, where is safe for you to go? Nowhere, yuck. Uh, I can put Damsel Doggy down over here. Here we go. You stay safe over there. I am going to drop this over here. Oh, darn it. That might have just taken out the spider web that I need to put the what do you call in. It's going to try to get a bomb. Let's see if it still works. Nope, it doesn't. Oh, I almost just fell in the spikes. Did we wake up the big spider? If we did, that's a problem. If we did not, it's less of a problem. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and spend a rope just so I can go take a look at what's happened to the big spider over here. He is still hanging tough. I am worried about running out of time on this level, so let's continue to try to explore and find the, um, whatchamajigget, the key that we need to go with. Gosh, so many scorpions. Oh, and there's a, oh man. All right, I'm running out of time, and I see the thing that I want to get into over here. Oh man, and there's another scorpion. I have 14 bombs. I'm gonna do this. Uh, just to get a move along. Uh, I can use a rope to get back up there if I need to. Um, which I'm going to need to now, but that's okay. I'm gonna do that. Okay, here's the exit. I still didn't find the key. Alright. Oh, there's the key. I see it. <laughs> I found the key. Eureka. Uh, the bat's gonna get stuck in the cobweb. I think... Oops, crap. I think this arrow trap's already gone off, but I'm not certain. Yeah, okay, it has. So, oh, except for the big spider is now going to come get me. Darn it, darn it, darn it. And here comes the ghost. Poop, poop, poop. Um. Darn it. All right. I need to do horrible things. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, I'm going to have to spend another rope somewhere. So let's go ahead and spend it here. And I think the ghost is going to cut me off over here, but that's okay, because I've at least moved the ghost somewhere. And the spider's going to jump on the spikes. Okay, great. So there's my paste. And now with the ghost over there... Oops, okay. The, did the key kill the bat? I'm kind of a little unclear what just happened there. But I'll take it. Uh, I'm going to get trapped under this thing, so we're going to bring the ghost back around once again. Crap, get through the web. Okay. There are some accidental diamonds. I have to decide if I want to try to... Um, do the thing over here. The thing with the stuff. Alright, we need to dodge the ghost one more time. Where was my matic? Did I leave it over at the side? Yeah, probably. I don't know if that's worth going after now. Um, can I push this? I can just push it here to crush that. Um, that arrow trap's already gone off. We'll get this money. 
And then if I can bring the ghost way over here, I should be able to at least get the dog. And I would really like to get those gems as well. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Alright, that's the last of my ropes. This is not going particularly well for me. But I'm gonna try to stay calm, because I have a lot of bombs. Darn it. How do I get to the dog fast enough? I need a quicker way around, and I didn't spend my ropes optimally. And I don't want to leave any of these things behind. Ah, I know. No, I just... And now I can't use a bomb, because the bomb will kill me. Darn it. Alright, we left a lot on the table, but we are still alive. We've got 13 bombs and a pick. And I did get the Ivu Jot. And so we'll still be able to find the black market. And the black market should have more ropes, and so we should be able to recover from all of this. Let's just make sure we don't lose height. And we don't have sticky paste yet, either. And so let's make sure we keep that in mind as well. And so... Oh, crap! I almost just lost the pick. <laughs> So I need to be searching for the black market, which is why I'm going to the right here. Just need to make sure it's not anywhere over here. And there's some money over here. Okay, so yeah, now priority one is always saving the damsel. Priority two is finding the black market. And I can successfully go down one level. Oops, ouch, ouch, ouch. Bad, bad, bad. And apparently priority three is staying alive. Um, rather than deal with the piranha, I'm just gonna kill them like that. We have access to the damsel now. And... Oh boy. Alright, I need to take a look over here. And there's the worm tongue, so there's a way to get the damsel out, possibly. But I could also make a shortcut over here and get a tiny bit of money. Oh man, I do not like these monkeys. Monkeys, I do not like you! All right, let's go ahead and kill these guys. Where's the exit? Uh, it might be on the right over here. Hold on, let me find out. It's important to know one way or the other. Okay, it's not there, so it's gotta be back on the left. Which means I'll probably dig below the damsel in order to uh, get the damsel out and get to the exit so I don't have to cross all those monkeys. Because I think those monkeys are gonna be bad news, especially so by virtue of the fact that I don't have the, um, any ropes. Ropes are a good way to get monkeys off your back. Yeah, let's just dig down like this. We'll go ahead and drop that off. We'll grab the damsel. We haven't angered shopkeepers yet. Oops! And I just left the pick behind. Darn it! <laughs> There's no way to get back up there, is there? I don't think so. Darn, darn, darn. Alright, I've made a lot of mistakes today, but at least we're still alive. And I do still have 13 bombs. And I don't think I missed the black market on that level. Oh, man, I want to get in there, but I don't have the sticky paste. <sighs> oh, boy. Um, and if the black market's to the left, then I'm just going to miss it. All right, we'll say la vie. Got to go over here. He's dead. Damsel dog, he's going to be pretty difficult to get. I'm not going to bother to go after that gem, because the way I'm playing right now, I don't trust myself. This bat is going to get me. If I don't play it safe. Alright, let's definitely carry a, carry a corpse, because they can be very useful. Yeah, I don't see myself getting that damsel, so I think we're going to move forward and leave the damsel behind, which I'm very sad about, but these things happen. Man, this is definitely, like, I guess the most difficult... Oh, hey, hey, hey! Black Market is probably somewhere below. I see two crates below. I see the Black Market entrance. I'm pretty sure it's right below me here. Crap! Okay. Think it's right below me? Yeah, I'm nearly certain. Yep, that's it. And if I set down the corpse. Crap, I need to get away! Alright, there's the black market. I want these crates. A web gun will not be useful for the paste, 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 paste. That is so useful. 
Uh, web gun might be a tiny bit useful. And before we go in, this will give me some vertical mobility. I might be able to get back to... How much time do I have? I have a little bit of time. Let's see if we can get back to the damsel now. Because I can use this to climb. And now that I have paste, can I get the explosion on the ceiling? And save the dog? I think I can. Oh, except for the dog's gonna fall in here! Sorry, damsel doggy! I should have planned that better. Alright. Um, let's go to the black market and hope for the best. <laughs> We've not had the best thus far. But perhaps the best is yet to come. Alright. I have not angered the shopkeepers yet. And so, that makes this a dodgy proposition. Let's not accidentally shoot them with a the web gun. There's gonna be plenty of bombs in there. And this is actually a pretty nice place to try to get some shopkeepers, I think. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna set that down over there just in case I need it still. Uh, we are gonna do a... Oh, I don't have any ropes! I was gonna say classic uh, robbery technique, and we can't do it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Alright, and that... Oh! <sighs> in that case, I'm gonna grab this gun. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. Alright. Oh, scrap. Alright, this is good, actually. Because if I hang off the ledge right here, shopkeepers are gonna fall down there. Alright, so one shopkeeper's out. I think I can get the other one to do the same thing. I think the other one is currently stuck in the other area. So I need to get down there. Meanwhile, some of the shopkeepers are battling each other. He might go right over my head, too. Um, huge danger. Okay, got some more bombs. I think the Maddox actually going to be more valuable. Is there still a shopkeeper over here? No, shopkeeper fell down. Okay. I don't have a shotgun yet. There's a shotgun. And is there another shopkeeper over here I need to worry about? No. Great. Great. Things are starting to pick up. Let's pick this up. Alright, I've got bombs aplenty. And so, let's start lofting them in there. Okay. Shopkeeper's there, dead. Let's go ahead and blow up this thing. Great. Let's get the Ankh. We can still rescue the dog, potentially, as well. Uh, and we can go to this level because we have an extra Matic, and there's all kinds of gems in the wall, and I might have enough vertical mobility to pull this off. Okay. Good things starting to happen. Let's go ahead and go one, two. Just to open that up. And then is he going to find a way out, or am I going to have to give him a way out? I think. Let's try this and just see if we happen to get the shopkeeper. Alright, we got him out of there, that's fine. I'm going to leave that gem. I didn't even see what was behind over here. Just a thingy, okay, that's not very useful. Uh, the ghost is coming. Most of these guys are going to kill each other. And whoever remains, I can probably kill. By being clever. Because Clever is my middle name. Darn it. Great! Uh, did I get any ropes? I didn't get any ropes. Crap, 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 crap. I'm almost dead already. Well, we used up the Ankh. I don't have climbing gloves and I don't have ropes. You can presumably see the problem. Um... I may have to bomb down to the exit. Yeah, there's a little bit of money right there that I can still get. And crap, I'm gonna go for a shotgun because I think I'm gonna need it. And I can use the tree. If I get the ghost down low, then I can go above the ghost using the tree. Okay. Okay. And might as well see if there's any gold there. Okay. So, things are still not going great, but we're still alive. We're still in a position to make some money. We have a lot of bombs. You can never, you know, sneeze at uh, having too many bombs. I didn't get a chance to ghost that level. Um, yeah, I expect there will be some people who have already by now made like 200,000. Um... That's okay. We're gonna do amazing things. 
Whoa, boy. I'm going downwards a little bit too quickly here. I keep forgetting that I don't have any upward mobility. Can't believe there wasn't climbing gloves or ropes in that black market. And there are a lot of bad things here. The good news is, I do now have the boots of destiny, along with the boots of destiny. <laughs> um, everything's of destiny, apparently. Whoa, I see you. Yeah, that's right. You go blow things up over there. So we're gonna bounce. Okay. No, no, no. Duh. <laughs> Not enough boots of destiny. All right, there we go. Shoot you. Shoot you in the back. Shoot you again. Okay, you're dead. Damsel Doggy's alive. And we're gonna start making some sacrifices to Kali right here. So, you go to Kali. And you go to Kali. Why are they not going to Kali? Oh, because there's a uh, Tiki Trap right there. That's fine. And, oh, I've got extra mobility. I forget that I've got the jumpy boots, and so I can jump higher than normal. So that gives me a little bit more vertical mobility. All right, so we're gonna get those things. Um, Damsel Dog, I'm gonna come back for you in a minute. Are those gonna be enough? Uh, two, four, five, six, it's not enough bodies to get a sacrifice uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner yet. Um, I think we need to do this. All right, I heard a shopkeeper die. And here's another pick, which is pretty nice. And so we're gonna have some sh dead shopkeepers down there. Okay, so now I can fetch Damsel's Doggy, and then I can bring the shopkeeper corpses to the Kali's altar, and then we'll have enough to gain a gift. Uh, but I have to save the damsel along the way. Um, and the damsel can safely sit right down here. Okay, great. All right, sacrifices ho! One, two, Three, four, all right, and I'm going to do that because I'm afraid of the Tiki Trap. And I hear the ghost. I'm gonna do this also to try to get rid of the Spike Traps. There we go. And I believe with my jumpy boots, I'll be able to get past the ghost. Um, there's the sacrifice. There we go, compass. All right, damsel doggy, I haven't forgotten about you. Don't sweat it. Um, man, I am playing things pretty risky here. Oh no, damsel doggy. Oh, come on, pick him up. Oh, I tried to save you, damsel doggy. I really did. <laughs> I feel so bad for damsel doggy when things like that happen. I'm not going to try to ghost that gem or do anything else crazy. Let's just be happy that we're still alive and we're making it to the ice caves. Maybe we'll still be able to get a score here. Boy, oh boy. This has been a rather unusual daily challenge for Brian. I'm going to go over here and then shoot that guy over there. I cannot get up there because I don't have any vertical mobility. Oh no! Please wake up, please wake up. All right, I do have spike boots, which is really important here. And unfortunately that just killed this guy, so he's a lesser sacrifice now, but we definitely need to keep making sacrifices because Kali's cup would be pretty valuable, I do imagine. Let's pick this thing up, and I think I can throw it over there and hopefully make some amazing things happen. And actually, with the shotgun and the cape, I can make some pretty good jumps. Oh no! I did not think of that just simply did not occur to me as a thing that was going to happen. Um, well, poop. Oh, crap! Okay. Alright, so we've angered Kali. So, I guess I shouldn't be worried about sacrifices anymore. There's a damsel we can rescue, so that's a good thing to worry about. There's some money, that's another good thing to worry about. If I leave that little thingy there then I'll be able to get back over to the damsel. So let's go, oops, find the shopkeeper at the exit, who is going to be right down there. I'm pretty sure I can hit him with a bomb, actually. Ah, that'll be good enough. We'll fall out of the world. Yep. Um, I don't know that I can jump back up here to rescue damsel doggy. Let me take a look a little bit closer down. Is there another ledge? There is another ledge, but I don't know that I can get back. So let's put down the shotgun. Let's go rescue the damsel. I could also send the damsel to the worm. Nope. Worm tongue. Um, I can still get out of here. And I might need to use that spaceship. Um, 
Let's see. Can I get back to my shotgun? Yes. Because I can do this. I can... I can't do that because... Can I jump up high enough? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure what else to do right here, and I have a lot of bombs. So let's kill the Yeti that way. And then this Yeti I can sneak up behind. Crap! Please don't die. <laughs> I'm down to one heart. I have done so many things wrong today, and I've done, like, so many, like, different unusual things wrong today. That's, like, the impressive part. Hey, that actually helped me. Now I can jump back over here. I can get my shotgun again, at least. And I think I actually have... Should I rescue the dog? I gotta rescue the dog. Damn, the dog is too important not to get rescued. But let's first try to get the shotgun over here. And then I don't have climbing gloves. Brian, you dummy. Yep! Okay. Now we go rescue the dog. Let's carry this in case it turns out to be valuable somehow. Um, yeah, it might be actually. Nope, it's not. All right. Um, while we're here, we'll grab this money, and we'll get the ghost down low. We'll jump back up over the ghost. We'll bring the dog to the exit. We'll grab the shotgun, and we'll continue on to the next level. Which hopefully will be less of a nightmare than this one has been. I've had a lot of nightmarish levels today. The only thing I can say that I have going for me is that I'm still alive. 122,000. Walking into 3-2 is a pretty low score. We're back up to two hearts with a lick from Damsel Doggy. And we still have a lot of bombs, and so I should try to use them more frequently if I think they're going to help me out. And that one looked like it was going to help me out. Because now I can shoot this guy. That crazy guy. Alright, I don't want to break those things. There may be a vault on this level, and I really need to ghost a vault if I want to oh, get any kind of decent score. And so, assuming I can find ways back up, and it looks like I can... I'm going to try to leave the gems behind. And let's see. I'm going to jump over this. There's the bow I had, but we've already used up the Ankh. Darn it, I didn't mean to land there. Um, I'm pretty sure I can do this safely. Yeah. Um, so far, everywhere, I can still climb my way back up. Okay, it's going to get difficult over here. Oh, and the exit's right below. Darn it. Um, all right, let's try to take out the shopkeeper by getting lucky. That didn't work. Let's try that again, because it seems like with a little bit of a different trajectory, maybe I might be able to hit a shopkeeper if there is one down there. What if I just drop it off the ledge? Oh no, that was Damsel Doggy! <sighs> oh my gosh, this is going to be my first time with like a negative Damsel score. I think since Emily has been keeping track, probably. Uh, oh, and I just blew that up. Very nice, Brian, very nice. I am not doing anything right. Um, Alright, I'm going to leave all the gems up. Oh, I finally found this stupid thing. Alright. Uh, one, two. All right. And of course, some of the gems ended up up there. Just to add insult to injury. Uh, and if I want to get back in there, I need to use a bomb. All right, the shopkeeper should be right over here, right? Okay, apparently he wasn't there. Did he already fall out of the world? I guess he already fell out of the world. Oh, because I angered this one. Ha 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 ha. I know how this game works. Is there any way for me to, yes. I should totally do that. We're going to get all the gems on the same level. Now they can all be ghosted. And now the challenge for Brian is to... Oh, gosh. I can only get over there once, too. Is to figure out how to ghost these gems and not die. And uh, that's why they call it a daily challenge, right? They don't call it a daily easy. They call it the daily challenge for a reason. It's because it's challenging. Often. All right. We're at least going to get these. And I think we're just going to have to be happy with that. There's another gem over there, but I need to jump on this thing and then get away. And then get to the exit. All right, at least I'm up to 212,000 now. So my score is less embarrassing. 
but still not great. All right, you'll pay for your crime. So the shopkeeper's already out of the picture. That's that's one good thing. I'm using the cape with some success, so that's another good thing. I'll probably shoot the woolly mammoth. Can I get him one more time over here? There we go. There we go. He is dead. Great. Uh, should I ghost this level? Probably not. We already got ropes! Finally some ropes! Vertical mobility. Um, alright. I wouldn't mind some climbing gloves or a jetpack, though. <laughs> While we're wishing, I'd also like a pony. To give to Zuria, of course. <laughs> uh, let's see. I blew up that for no reason at all. Just because I'm in the mood to blow things up. We said the shopkeeper's out of the picture. Uh, I believe I'll be able to hop across the gap over here, and so let's see if there's anything useful over here. There is not. So we will go back over here, and then here. And the exit's gonna be over there. Damsel Doggy! I can finally save you! Oh! Damsel Doggy acknowledges. Actually, if I save a few more damsels, I might get back to a positive damsel score. That would be terrific. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get any more money on this level. So let's move on through. Yeah, I guess now if I could focus on damsels and possibly getting to Olmec, I could still get a good score, maybe? I don't know. It's still still a tough prospect. Let's see. Oop. If there's any good money to be had. If I drop a thing on the thing, does the thing... No, the second one that it just fell on still hangs in midair. That was a piece of Spelunky physics that I wasn't sure about. Now I know. Probably forget it before the next time it will come in useful. Damsel Doggy is here, so I want to get the damsel. I don't want to go to the mothership. Because I don't have enough vertical mobility, and also I've had even worse luck in the mothership than I've had in the temple of late, I believe. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to solve the rest of the level, go back for the damsel. Assuming such things are possible, it's going to be hard to go back for the damsel. Darn it. I can get the damsel out through the- Oh! The cape saved me from the spikes. I can get the damsel out the mothership exit in order to save the damsel. It's going to cost me a rope. But the damsel is always worth a rope. Because this is the adventures of Damsel Doggy. And saving damsels is what we're all about. But then I am going to exit through the normal exit. Hopefully not dying to a shopkeeper along the way. I think I better go here and try to get some eyes. I think there's still a shopkeeper there. Let's see if I can find out. If he was there, I think he's gone. Nope. Now he's gone. Alright, great. Let's go to the temple and get a look from Damsel Doggy that'll bring us back up to three hearts and be prepared to throw bombs at every mummy that we see. I still have 21 bombs. That's still a non-trivial advantage that I should not lose sight of because bombs, bombs are life. All right, I think we're gonna go down this way. We're mostly gonna focus on trying to get to Olmec because I'm not good at the temple. Not gonna try to make a ton of money in the temple. Although now that I see the, uh, what do you call? I kinda gotta go for that. We just have to be wary of what's his name? Anubis, I think I just saw him in the bottom right. Let's go double check. No, that's a mummy. All right, so I think I can go one, two. Great. Can I jump back out of there? Yes, and I have ropes if I need to. We're not going to ghost. We're just going to take the money and run. Going to sneak up behind him. Oh, there's a shop and a shopkeeper and bombs and... Can I do this if I get him to... Mm, can I get him to run into the thing a few times? Probably not. Is there a good way to kill him? Is there a good way to kill him? I can use as many bombs as I want. And I can get more bombs. I think it's worth a shot. Is he dead? 
No, but he's gone. <gasps> no, he's not gone. Okay, now he's dead. Great. All right, I have a ton of bombs. I can just bomb my way to exits. I can do whatever the heck I want to do with bombs, including going after Anubis. Forgot about Anubis already. Um, crap. Hey, Anubis. That should get him. Crap, don't get caught on the ladders. There we go. Uh, I don't want the scepter. I just wanted to kill Anubis. And now if I want to get to the exit, I can just bomb my way down, potentially. Is that a better way to go? It's probably a better way to go. And now there's a mummy over there. And I know what to do with mummies. Great. And we actually have a little bit of time before the ghost arrives, and so I will take advantage of that time to get a little bit more easy money. Like that. And I can even check this pot. Alright, the pot did not have any money. Great! Stay alive, stay alive. I've got so many bombs, just stay alive. So how's everybody doing? <laughs> I feel like as bad as this run has gone in a, oh, whoop, dip, 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 in a variety of different ways, I feel like I'm doing a good job of staying at least, oh boy, somewhat calm. I don't know if people will agree with that, uh, but for me, I feel like I'm doing a good job of staying somewhat calm. All right, Damsel Doggy, if there's a way to come back for you, I will. But right now, it's looking like you might have to make it on your own. Uh, I do not like the Hawkman, and so we're going to do this get rid of the Hawkman. And I do see that there's an arrow trap over here, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, the arrow trap's gone off. Uh, we don't like this lava, and so we're gonna have something to say about it. I'm not sure quite what yet. Here's what we're gonna do. One, two. Great. Start firing wildly over here in case there's any bad guys. Okay, we're still okay. We're gonna take a shortcut that involves getting a gem. We are going to shoot at the crazy bee thingy. There's gonna be a shopkeeper. Yes, there's a shopkeeper. He hasn't seen me yet. And so, oh crap, that was not the right thing to do. I don't think that matters. I want to open up the way to the shopkeeper and then hit him with a bomb. Or the shotgun. I think the bomb. That should work. Great! Shopkeeper down! And I think I can get this too. Oh crap! No, no, no. I don't want to shoot alligator man. Alright, let's just move. Trying to stay alive. Still have some hearts. Oh, I forgot I forgot all about Damsel Doggy. I might have been able to go back up there and get him. Sorry, Damsel Doggy. Let's hope the Amsel Doggy is closer to the exit on this level. Oh crap. Crap! Oh crap! <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> that was a really panicky moment. I did I was so scared by the mummy, I did not see that I was running right into the spike trap. Um I'm gonna try something a little wonky here. I'm gonna put a bomb here, and then I'm gonna push the pushy block. I can't push the pushy block because it just fell. Um, there's Damsel Doggy. There's one of those traps. I don't have much experience with those idle traps here in the temple. I might, in fact, have no direct experience. I'm sure I've seen other people use it. Um, I don't see myself using many ropes. Oh, that didn't set off the arrow trap. Darn. So we're going to use a bomb to set off the arrow trap and blow up something below. Okay. Let's stomp on Hawkman. Oh crap, nope. Alligator Man saw me, he's angry. Uh, I see the exit. I'm just gonna get to the exit. Shopkeeper's dead. Oh crap, okay, that's already gone off. There's even money here, I'm not gonna go for the money. We're gonna go for Olmec. Olmec is the money. And I still have enough ropes that I can climb up to the top of Olmec's place and get the chests and get the various gems. And so we just want to kill Olmec, live, and try to use any remaining bombs to get some extra gems to get a high score. 
And, oops, then today's daily still won't completely suck. Okay, so, looks like, looks like here is not a bad place to rope. Great. Okay. Um, and the shotgun, I can use a shotgun jump. I think I've neglected to do that a couple of times already where I could have used a shotgun jump in order to get a little bit higher and I just wasn't thinking of it. And yeah, that's a valuable thing that I should keep in mind always. All right, so we're gonna go up here. Oops. More bombs, terrific. We wanna get all the gold. 345,000, I forget. I feel like I need to get like about 400,000 in order to increase my daily top 10 all-time score. And so I think you get 50,000 for beating Olmec, and so assuming I manage to beat Olmec, uh, I think I'll actually... Oh, I just got a parachute, uh, which is potentially going to screw me up. I think maybe you can use the cape to avoid using the parachute. So I'm going to try to keep that in mind. All right, I think I've gotten everything I need over here. And so, which side do I want to get Olmec on? I guess it doesn't really matter, and I should use ropes if I need to. Okay. Let's walk Olmec all the way to the left-hand side. And then go create a hole for him. Okay, great. Um, there's a chest over there. I need the chest less and the money more. And I see at least two gems down here. So let's try... let's try doing it down here. I've got 15 bombs. And I'm gonna need to use a rope to get out of here. That's okay. I don't need it right now. Let's go ahead and just place one to do this. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and place a rope now so that I have that option. I should have placed it on the right-hand side since Olmec's gonna be coming from the left. And I'm gonna go one, two, three. And is that sufficient? Let's play, oops, darn it. This was not good. Let's do, there's still a good option here, hold on. Let's do this. And now I can stand on this ledge and bend down, and then I can look down. Yes, if Olmec hops down there, except for I lost the way to get him to hop down there, maybe. Ugh. I think now I should do this. One, two, three. And let's also do this. And then let's squat down here once again. And I think for safety's sake, if I do that, yeah. Oops, darn it. All right, got another rope, not a problem. And then, yeah, here we go. Okay. I'm pretty sure that that's a good old mech hole. And I don't need the shotgun anymore, I don't believe. Now I just need to lure old mech back over here. Really wasted bombs that could have been used to get more money. But what you gonna do? Try to go get a little bit more money later on. But let's get old mech over here. And then let's... Get him to jump over here one more time. And then let's balance, 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 balance. There we go. Okay, Olmec is gone. I have the exit. I still have one bomb left. And let's just take some money and run. All right. 379. And sure, let's take the shotgun out. Let's see how much money we get for defeating Olmec. I haven't defeated Olmec on camera. I don't think in quite a while. I might be misremembering, but I think it's been a while. So let's find out if this is indeed worth 50,000. If it is, instead of 379, I will have 429. The parachute has been deployed. And the final score will count up. Okay. 
I guess while we're sitting here waiting for the score to go, I just want to say thank you to all the people who have given me donations as a result of Minecraft Bingo. Um, I appreciate them very much, and I hope that people are enjoying the game. 429! You'll be remembered as a hero. I will! Although, a hero who may have killed more damsels than he rescued today. So, it's kind of a questionable hero. Um, so I'm kind of unhappy with how today's daily challenge went, but at the same time, you can't be too unhappy when you get another score for the leaderboard. We're gonna go ahead and skip the cutscene and see where we ended up. Alex is number two in the world currently. Uh, even though he didn't get to Olmec, he still ghosted this one like a champ for 1.2 million. Nice work, Alex. Uh, the other Brian did not do as well. I'm gonna check my daily all-time top 10, but I also want to look. Yesterday I forgot to play. Winter is back with a vengeance. The day before I played and died in 1-2, I mentioned that early in the playthrough. Winter is still leading the leaderboards, even on a tough daily apparently. And I forgot to play on this day as well. And then presumably that one aired. Okay, so let's go take a look at daily all-time top 10. I'm at 462. And if I click on my scores, yeah, 429, still came in sixth place. I need about 350,000 to increase it moving forward. And, but I am pretty happy with that. That is super cool. I hope as always that you guys are having a great day and I will see you again soon with more Spelunky as I try to catch up with Cthulhu. Look out Cthulhu, I'm on your tail.